ThinkPad Yoga 14. It's certainly a computer. We're going to put this motherboard in it. It's going to be awful. Absolutely awful. We have screws here all the way around. Unlike many other computers, when you pull these screws, they don't come out. You have to be careful. I still have some fingernails. Ah, there we go. There we go. Okay. You, you have all these nasty little plastic clips around them. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Ah, beautiful. Yeah, it's a pretty clean match. So, you probably have seen these before. If you haven't, you probably don't work on computers. There you go. These. I don't like these little clips. Um, I use my fingernail, but you can use a small pry tool. Get that loose. Underneath this, there's a video connector. It's got a little handle. We're going to move the RAM over. We're going to take loose this. This is the wireless card. Pull the antennas. Take him out. We'll move him to the other board in a minute. Take this out. This is a solid state flash cache. Technically, it's a 16 gig solid state drive, but close enough. Uh, let's see. All these have to be removed, so flick. Flick, 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 flick. Okay, this has to come out too. And uh, to make that a little easier, let's get this wire out. And does this just pull right up? It doesn't seem to want to. Why not? Why not? Uh, because I'm not trying hard enough, apparently. Yeah. Okay, so now we can actually get all these other wires out very, very easily. Come on now, get out of there. Yeah, I say very easily. They're not as easy as I make them out to be. Yeah. This didn't flip up right here. So, get it out. Now this, this thing right here is that pesky one I've been telling you about. I'm going to use my two fingernails to put even pressure to push it out. And it's out. We need to remove this heat sink and fan assembly. This needs to come out gently. And pop these screws. If you turn the handle of the screwdriver and the shaft of the screwdriver, you not only can use two hands to do everything, but it comes out much faster. There is a wireless antenna coming over here. It basically just needs to come out of the way completely. Let's get this moved. Okay. There's a wire here coming from this board. Coming over here. Let's pop him. Goodbye. Uh, that's the reset button. This is your CMOS battery. You don't technically have to remove this. This is your LCD cable for your screen. Go ahead and get that out of there. All right. It's actually very tight because it's so short. So it can be kind of difficult to get out without damaging it, but you really don't want to da do any damage to this. Uh, try, yeah, okay. Let me get a small one. Little screwdriver to just help lift it away. There we go. And I don't think there are any more wires going to this board. At least not that I can see. Let's pop this. 
always put your screws that are similar and for a similar purpose in a similar place. Is that it? Is that it? Are there really only three screws holding this whole board in? Seems so. Ah. Now, here's a question for you. Why is it that it won't come out? Everything is loose, but it won't come out. This keyboard has to come out. It's hard. I'm actually going to get a pry tool for that. Okay. Pry tool. Be a little gentle, but don't worry too much about breaking it. It won't break too easily. The keyboard slides this way and pries up. And once you can get something under it, everything starts getting a lot easier. Come on. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There it is. All right. We have the main keyboard data cable there, I believe. Going to that board. This should have been done first, but it's easy to forget. There's one there. There's your backlight cable. Come on, flip up. Yep, there we go. Out of the way. And there's our board. There's our motherboard. See how liberally those two chips are coated? That's the way these down here are going to need to be. So have your thermal paste handy. We need to put this board in place. Do you see these arrows right here? That arrow means that I need to put the screw back there. So it sort of comes with its own little guide. Magnetic screwdrivers are a lifesaver. If you have a dead hard drive handy, you can tear it apart and rip one of the magnets out of it and stroke it in the same direction like you're sharpening the screwdriver about 30 times and it will magnetize almost any screwdriver, which is how I got these to be magnetic. It never hurts to check and make sure that everything lines up that this stuff is falling in place the way it's supposed to. This thing needs to probably be the first thing we put back. Okay. So let's do that. This is one reason I keep a little bit of fingernail because it helps with these things. Uh, all these need to be flipped up and restored. So this one's already up and it's a hard one so I'll go ahead and do it. This one here, flip it up. And there you go. Flip it back down. Let's go ahead and preemptively flip all of this up so that we don't have to deal with it. It can be difficult to get them in. You have to put them in at an angle. Uh, and it still doesn't want to go. There it is. Don't force anything. If you force something, you will regret it. I can promise you that. Don't ask how I know. All right. Button board. Button board's going to go and move back in with mom here. It should just kind of fall in place. There's not much holding it there in the first place. You should see there are these two white tabs here, and those little notches should go past them. Lock that down. Okay, <clears throat> we need to put this back. First, I'm going to get this LED LCD cable. It'll fall back in place a little easier than it came out. And this one doesn't want to close. You can also look, you may be able to see this, there is a white line right here. Make sure that it lines up end to end correctly. That's part of how you know that you've got things lined up the way they're supposed to be. This actually has a lot more tension than these, at least it feels like it. Alright, let's uh, put this wire back.
You don't want to put very much, actually this one doesn't need any, I don't think it has any contact, no it doesn't have any contact, so we're just not going to bother with that one. Yeah, there needs to be a little bit, not too much. Okay. You just need enough that when it smashes it down, when you reapply the heat sink, that it covers the area, but not so much that it squishes out all over the place on the sides. Things start getting messy. Yeah, you want to distribute it fairly evenly. This heat sink, the way it would normally fall in here, I'm going to set it down and I'm going to push down on it a little bit so that they make contact and I'm going to gently rub in circles back and forth. <clears throat> I can see there's not enough coverage here. So what I'm going to do is, since uh, this is also not quite even, I'm going to take just a little bit of what excess there is here and kind of pat it out. If you squeeze it like this and move it around a little bit, you'll see how the distribution will actually work out. This needs to go here, but it doesn't want to. There it goes. It takes very little actual action to lock that down. This one's the same story, and again, it's just a very small thing that clicks together. Now, we just need to put the hard drive back in. Hard drive. It fits fairly snugly in here. And we have a wire. This wire doesn't want to go. Okay. I'm going to put this. Do I have all the wires? Always do a final check. It never hurts. I'm going to put this just so the power button board doesn't fall out. Okay. Keyboard. The way that the cabling and the assembly goes, these things are some of the most frustrating machines you'll ever run into. That's how you replace a motherboard in a Lenovo Yoga 14. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.